Hey guys, working with our SICB team, and I am garbed up for some serious disease action. Cut to the intro. Today, guys, I'm working for our SICD team. Now, this is serious infective communicable disease team we have at the hospital. Now, this team would be used on an extremely rare basis. I'm going to put a link in the description to the type of diseases we would be called in on. But we have a few of every discipline coming in from healthcare workers that would have to take care of these patients in this case. Now, we're using some new equipment today, so I want to show it to you. So let's get to it. All right, so we have a, this is our respirator unit. This is from 3M, it's a VersaFlow TR600. I'm gonna show you some pieces to it, but this is gonna actually filter the air particles out or any kind of disease particles out so that we can go in and take care of the patient. So it's got a couple of different pieces, including a battery, a really cool thing on the battery. Actually, you press on it, it will show you how much power is in it. Um, so I've got, a I've got a battery on this one already. You can see that the battery goes clips on the bottom. All right, so I'll move that thing out of the way. We also have a filter. They have specific filters set up for different particles that need to be taken out. Uh, so, and then we have a cover, then we have a belt. So let me show you a little bit how this works. Um, let's first of all, we'll put the filter in. So it clips in and the cover actually clips in over it. And you can hear that clip in right like that. Whoop, let's get that right. There we go. So we're rolling there. Uh, you see on the top here, we have an on button. So what that does, it has an internal blower inside of it, and it's gonna start pulling in air and blowing that filtered air out this port right here. What we have to do is we have to check to make sure it has a firm amount of flow. Um, so that's really important. They use this little piece here to do that. You make sure it's vertical, kind of like a Compensated Thorpe tube for our respiratory therapists out there, but it's just got to stay up to the top. We can also adjust the flow that comes out. You're going to see it's really going to smash that ball to the top. Highly recommend high flow. It gets extremely hot in there. So that's been tested. You can also see on the top here our life of our filtered life of our battery. So shut that off. Shut that one off. And then it's also going to be held onto the belt. So you see this belt here. This is what's going to be worn by the clinician in these cases. We're going to adapt it to the belt here. You can see these pieces going on. It's going to go in on this side and they are going to slide into place. So, and there we go. You can see the bottom clips in. That's going to be key to getting it off. So this is the belt and you will adjust that to what fits best for you. So let me show how show you how this hooks up. The next part is the hose. So we're gonna have one side go into the, the hood and one side go into this. It's gonna go in, lock. When we turn this on, you'll have air blowing out of here. Now let's show you how it hooks up to the hood. So we have our 3M hood here, as you can see, and I'll show you how this, this is gonna hook up to this. It goes in and it's going to, let's see, we'll line up some arrows on there, clip into place, rotates, now it's held tightly. So now the air's being filtered, taken in, and dumped into the hood that will be wearing on my head in just a second here. So if I was actually going in to take care of one of these patients, there's a specific way that you put these on, and what we call it is donning the protective equipment. Now this is a really cool jumpsuit. Um, of course, it's resistant. These all the, the seams are sealed, and uh, it's they got multiple sizes of them. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I put this thing on. Hopefully, I don't fall over. Actually, I'd have much more comfortable clothes. Probably some scrubs on if I was putting this on in real life. So putting it on is the easy part. Taking it off is the hard part because it could be contaminated at that point. You 
see that? I jumped and caught myself. Cat-like reflexes of speed. So, I'll show you real quick. We're gonna put this on. I think, yes, this thing does fit my large stomach and wide shoulders. So, I'm gonna zip this up and instantly start to profusely sweat. So, at this point, you see I do have a hood. So, I've got the hood on. We're good to go. I'm gonna start by getting um, my hood on over here and you'll see me put that on and then we're gonna go with uh, applying my gloves. So, actually, I'll show you how to do the gloves first. At this point, it doesn't really matter because I haven't been exposed yet. So, we're gonna put two sets of gloves on, one smaller set, and then a larger set with extended cuffs. And extended cuffs are really nice. Um, in a real scenario, we're gonna be busting out the old duct tape action and duct taping these things so that you don't have like that happening. You get gunk inside your glove. And, and it's like, sorry about you. You got monkey pox. And um, really nice you were a healthcare worker and helped us out, but uh, now you're gonna die. So we use duct tape so that doesn't happen. All right, so we would pull these pieces up. And let's do another one here. All right. Let's see, we pull these up. We would have a person duct tape these bad boys. And then let me bring over. Probably get some assistance with this, but I'm loanering it today. In this case, I'm gonna turn this thing on. I'm also gonna crank up my flow, because that's just how I roll. All right, mm. okay. Nice. Flow, flow is cranked. Okay, so let's put this bad boy on. Snap it up. Turn it over the back. Whew, it's about 150 degrees in here right now. It's okay. We're going to pull this part over the head. Oh, that doesn't look right. There we go. All right, so you see how it kind of locks on? I've got to kind of talk loud now, but you see I got a little apron action on here. This would be tied right here. If I was more flexible, I could do it, but it's going to be tied by a person that's assisting me, so holding it that way. And this is how I would go in and take care of the patient. So I have air constantly flowing through here, so it does keep it much cooler, although my lower body does get hot really quick. So. Uh, we wouldn't be taking care of these patients for very long at all. Uh, we're going to be a limited amount of time inside the room. So I really hope you can hear me because I feel like I'm yelling at myself <laughs> inside this thing. So it's filtering the air I'm breathing the whole time. As you can see, everything's pretty compact. And uh, we try to do it that way so stuff doesn't get snagged on things. So anyway, this is how I would go in to take care of the patient. So when I get finished taking care of the patient, we're going to come into a doffing room. So you don it, put it on, and you doff it, and you take it off. So put it on, take it off. That, that's exactly how I remember, how I remember that. So we're going to be in a doffing room, and what I'm going to do is just put, you're going to take off slowly each piece, trying not to contaminate the next one. Uh, they're going to be disposed of appropriately, and between each time, you're going to use alcohol and there will be another person garbed up in here with me helping me with this so it won't be a you're doing this by yourself type of thing because that's really easy to cause a contamination so you always will have an observer with you we use alcohol in the case of all these different ones so what we would do is we would add we would have alcohol added from our observer and there's actually a checklist they're going to watch as we do this so that we're not taking any of these um any of these germs, any of these viruses, or anything outside of the docking area. So, we would alcohol this 
hard up, and then we would take these gloves off. So you guys see we take those gloves off, try to go under it, and get those gloves off. So that's one in the special receptacle over there. So the next thing, somebody would get me some more. And I'll have to hold these bad boys again. And the alcohol all over. Of course, I'd be taking the duct tape off before I took off the purple ones. And then at this point, I'm going to remove my hood. So the hood just kind of goes forward. Um, it would really help if I had a, a partner to shut it off, but I'm just going to leave it running while I do this one. So clean gloves. So in this case, the hood's going forward, straight down to the ground, and taking my belt off at the same time. So, taking that off, add more alcohol from my observer. All right, alcohol, 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 alcohol. Ooh, wow. All right, so, next thing I'm gonna do is take off my bunny suit. So I was only in it for about, what, four minutes? But I'm profusely sweating already, so. Take off my bunny suit. These actually, this is really cool. These would be, in, in real life, we would have these things like, uh, there's a little sticky part on here, and we would have that, and we'd be sealing that thing up. But we would do it in this case because we're reusing these. So, best thing for these, go on the outside and make an attempt to curl it down. Oh, okay, curl it down, curl it down. Okay. Take it all the way down to the ground, and then you know I'll step back here. But optimally, you want to be on the inside as you push these down, and you remove your feet from them. At that point, I'm going to—I don't want to do that because I might fall over. I don't want to do that on the video. So um, I remove those, and then I'm going to get more alcohol from my observer. Do 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 da 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 la da da, and then take off these gloves. So take them off this way over there, more alcohol from the server, and go through here. And that would be it. After that, I'd get, need to go and take a, a, not an alcohol shower, but I'd need to take a shower of some type um, uh, to make sure that I've cleaned anything that might have else been exposed. Now, if I would happen to get a rip in my glove at that time, that's where I would have to stop, have the observer, observer observe, as I add alcohol to that area, and any other bleach wipe and those type of things. So bleach wipes are actually really important too. I didn't go over those, but we would probably bleach wipe, we would bleach wipe this entire suit before we actually went to the dolphin area. So if you had chunks, mucus, puke, whatever it is, if you had chunks of things on this, you want to get those off first and then just do a total wipe down with a bleach wipe over your entire suit before you go into the dolphin room. So you don't have those, um, uh, those things kind of falling off in the dolphin room that's just a really great way to, to spread that disease. So bleach wipes are going to be used in that case. So I, the outside of this should be bleached uh, to the nth degree before I even go into the dolphin room. But I just wanted to show you uh, that a little bit. So if you have questions about it, uh, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer what I can, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to show this today. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, Give me some uh, suggestions too if you have anything you want me to do. I'll see ya.